Yo guys, what is up? Good morning to you all. Last night I had some pretty bad sleep. And also, like, I've made up my mind. After this competition, I'm never gonna do train again. It's so bad. Trembolone is horrible. I don't like it. Um, I'll probably talk about it more in either the next video or some upcoming videos. But yeah, never again. So many pieces up back together now. What's your vision? Jess and I are currently heading to the gym now to get a quick workout in. So, hope you guys enjoy this sick edit. So, you guys want to know the good, the bad, the ugly about Trembolo. So this is going to be an honest opinion on the uh, anabolic Trembolo. My experiences with it and what I really think if it's worth it or not to hop on it. Well, first things first, I'll talk about my experiences. So, Trembolone is a hell of a steroid. It's extremely strong. You get strength gains extremely quick. <clears throat> like, <clears throat> when I start, since starting, my max bench was like 125 for one. I'm now benching 120 for five, like pretty easily in a span of like two months. Not even, actually no, sorry, one month. In Within one month, I'm benching 120 for five. So I think that is just incredible gains. <coughs> um, I can see how it's really addictive, but I can also see how it's like extremely unaddictive as well. Um, when I'm on this stuff, man, like I just get, I just lose my temper so quick. I can just, like I'm able to control it and not snap at people, but I can feel myself just being irritated all the time and I always want to just seclude myself. I never want to talk to anyone. Uh, I don't want to like <clears throat> engage any conversation with anyone. I just want to be by myself. Anything just makes you snap. Maybe you don't snap like physically or like you don't snap um, in front of people, but you definitely like in your mind you can definitely see that you're snapping as far as side effects go Fucking with your emotions is definitely the worst side effect. Like you can talk about like increased libido You can talk about the uh, increased acne and stuff like that But to me like those are just small problems. The biggest problem is definitely the emotions of feeling anger uh, Frustration, it's just horrible. Now would I recommend the use of Trembolone? Yes and no. For the average, average lifter Hell no, no point. There's no point getting that strong um, that fast with the certain side effects that Trembolone has. It's just, it's horrible. Your heart beats elevated. You can't really sleep at night. 
you feel angry all the time, you want to be secluded, you don't want to talk to anyone, you're antisocial, yeah, you're like you're just frustrated. Like it, it makes you like, like depressed and angry at the same time. Um, in the morning when I usually uh, shoot it, it's just like an hour after I just feel immense amount of anger. Um, but after having a good night's sleep, the next day I'm like completely fine, I'm like pretty happy again. So this stuff is really fast acting. Now, yeah, so as far as like the uh, average lifter, I don't think it's really worth the side effects and like the potential downsides for you to hop on trend. Um, now, if you're competing, honestly, I'd say no more than two months on trend. It's just like, it's so much pressure. Um, unless you can like, you have no job, um, you don't have any responsibilities, you can just, you know, be by yourself at home all day, every day, then yeah, that's fine, go ahead and do it. Uh, if you have a life to live, like Tremblant will take over your life <coughs> emotionally. Yeah, let's talk about the upsize. Incredibly vascular, incredibly strong, fill out really fast. Um, everyone's looking at me. They've never seen anyone like with a camera before. Um, yeah, vloggers are scarce and milk. Yeah, incredibly vascular, incredibly strong. You fill out a lot more, so you have a constant pump. And the best one for me is recovery time. I, like, I just, like, I might feel sore the night like the night, if I work out in the morning, I might feel sore at night, but the next day it's completely gone. I'm 100% ready to go. I just feel so energetic, so strong on this stuff. It's powerful, man. It is fucking powerful. And there's one thing, there's one myth I want to debunk um, about trend. A lot of people say you get trend cough, which is totally like a myth. You get a cough on any type of steroid, um, oil base, sorry. <clears throat> so, what the cough is, is basically when you shoot it, uh, the oil from the steroid, you shoot this oil directly into a vein. So this wouldn't normally happen <coughs> if you shoot it into a muscle. But if you hit a vein and you shoot it into the vein, what happens is the oil coagulates in the bloodstream, it goes up to your lungs, and then you feel, find it hard to breathe and you start to cough. That's how it works. But, like, it doesn't happen just with trend. Like, it's not the stero actual steroid that fucks you up and makes you cough. It's the oil, the oil-based steroids that do that. So any oil-based steroid can do that. So that's why when you shoot, you always have to pull out a little bit. Like, um, uh, you pull out a little bit, check there's no blood, you're not drawing any blood, <clears throat> and then you can shoot it. Even recording now, like, I'm on, uh, like, this is the day after the trend, but even recording now, everybody that's, like, looking at me, recording at me, I'm, just, like, just pisses me off so much. I'm just, like, I literally just want to be like, hey, what the fuck are you looking at? Like, why are you looking at me? Have you never seen someone record themselves with the camera? Like, that's all I want to say. Like, I just want to, like, fuck them up. Like, I'm just so ready to go all the time, 24-7. <laughs> so, like, honestly, guys, it's not worth it. Welcome to the posing practice of my day. Uh, the whole point of this posing practice is not so much to practice the actual poses, but it's just to make me more confident in uh, actually posing. Because right now, I look awkward as hell uh, on stage, I suppose. I'm also posing with no uh, mirror in front of me, just the, I don't know, like when you're posing on stage there's no mirror to look at so you gotta be confident in yourself I suppose. I'll give you guys like a physique update as well. I know the lighting's not very good. I will give credit for being angry on trend, um, mainly for the fact that like, like when people do things that piss you off slightly, um, so on, when you're on trend, you become like really angry about it, right? <clears throat> and the good thing is like, you, you, because you hate it so much, you try so hard not to be anything like them. 
So for instance with me, is that like, I used to, like, people who um, were really unmotivated to change themselves to be better, uh, to be a better version of themselves, like, really annoyed me. Uh, well, no, sorry, just slightly annoyed me before. But now I'm on a trend, it like, it boils my blood, it really grinds my gears, it annoys the hell out of me, I get really fucking angry over it. Like, when I know someone, like, on a personal level, like, maybe a friend or something, that just like, I don't know, doesn't do anything to better themselves every day. It doesn't have to be within fitness, it can be anything like career-wise, anything like that. They always complain how like life is so unfair and shit like that. It just like makes me so angry. And I'm just thinking like, fuck, I never want to be like them. And it just makes me like work hard, want to work harder to like, to be better than them, really. So that, I guess that's like a good and a bad thing. Um, being angry, but at the same time, like, it just kind of motivates you to not be anything like an average person. Just being average really annoys me. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Gonna end the video here. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the talk about the uh, trend. I think I might make it a series, like, uh, like the good, the bad, and the ugly series of, like, can be anything. Uh, mostly probably gonna be fitness related. I might do one on online person, online training or online coaching because um, I think there's a lot of like shitty scams out there that you should be aware of but um, you know that's that's probably for like a later date. Like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, comment down below if you have something to ask me. As always, happy lifting, I'll see you guys next time. So many pieces back together now. What's your vision?